Salve, this is our RSS 012, our Real Street Stories. Um, this is 10 cops coming to my house, basically, in an armored vehicle, like the same thing they took Freddie Gray away for, and they didn't do, you know what I mean? So we'll go to that story. A lot of this comes from RSS 11, where I got rear-ended, and this kind of led to the trouble. So basically, I'll get to some of the other details. So I'm less than a month out of a C5, C7 neck fusion. I got rear-ended. So then the way I needed surgery, I basically had my neck was basically broken. I'm, you know, a jolt away from being paralyzed from the neck down, paraplegic, whatever you want to say. So basically, um, you know, I had the surgery and everything, and I was having like a pain. They told me if you had like an issue to call the hospital or whatever. So I went to Long Island Jewish, LIJ, which is now like Northwell Health. And like this place was like a friggin' city, like a, a friggin' city, like almost like a whole city. So basically, um, I called because I couldn't turn my neck to the side, like the left and the right. I was in a lot of pain and stuff like that. And I said something like, and there's nothing you can do about it, you know, so like, you know, it's like I'm laying in the ditch dying here and there's nothing you can do about it. And they tried to turn that into a threat. So they sent 10 fucking cops to my fucking house. Alright? 10 fucking cops to my fucking house because they don't want to give me medication. I wanted Valium because I was having muscle spasms where it was just like the whole, my whole body's fucking shaking apart. And they would just get worse and worse so I couldn't sleep. And even if I could sleep, I'd wake up fucking dead tired because I'm having these muscle spasms. So it's like your muscles are firing like the whole time. So, you know what I mean? It's pretty much, uh, you know, it's pretty difficult to deal with that. So basically, um, you know, I, just, I was like literally like shaking a pot. I freaked out because like I couldn't turn my head to the left or the right. I had like a three hour surgery, you know what I mean? And, and like I came home so I could feed the dogs and you know, I got discharged. So basically I called at like night and I ended up leaving them a one star review. And this is where Turkey, when they like bombed the people, and they had like a protest, like they were dancing around and the bombs went off. So I said something like how they denied the medication because what happened was I went to the scumbag Eric Putterman, a fucking lying Jew piece of shit who claimed he could speak Italian on the website. So I told him I went there for the appointment and he was going to give me the Valium. And then, you know, he looked at the thing and he shows me the printout. And I told him exactly the last time I had it and everything. And he's like trying to show me the printout. Like, I think he thought I was doctor shopping or whatever. Because guy Overby, the guy that did the surgery, everyone that he had listed there, you know, had different doctors listing. But it was all from the same place. Because the other doctor I already got, I got Valium from, you know, afterwards, he could tell. So, Part of me is like, oh, you know, I know you're not using them or doing anything wrong, but, you know, I still want to practice uh, medicine in New York and this and that. So he's a scumbag Jew, a piece of shit. And you know what, Eric Putterman, you're a fucking lying piece of shit. I hope you fucking die, because that's what you deserve, you fucking scumbag. You're fucking calling the cops, making up bullshit stuff, saying that I'm going this somewhere to shoot people. I couldn't even lift something that was one pound. I couldn't do anything. I just had fucking neck surgery. I have these things next to my neck. I had friggin', you know, I had like, you know, Vicodin or like Oxycontin if I wanted, but I just wanted val Valium so I could sleep and my muscle spasms. So, anyways, they make this false claim that I'm going to blow up fucking like Long Island Jewish, Northwell Health, like this big area on Long Island, like the biggest one. I forget which one. I can look it up if you really can. So, they made up this bullshit lie. You know, they had been calling me, I think, but they didn't say anything on the message. I think they said, oh, you know, if you get a chance, call back or something like that. My mom said, because they called the other line. I have neck surgery, so I can't really talk on the phone and this and that. So I go out there, and I'm like, oh, what is this, like an activity check? There's ten fucking cops out there in a fucking metal vehicle like it's a fucking SWAT thing. So then, blah, 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 they claim they never showed me the fucking statement that they said I wrote. So they're saying that, oh, they're talking about do I have a gun and shit like that. There's never any munch in a gun. Somehow they turned to my statements like, Oh, and there's nothing you can do about it. Somehow they made that a threat because they're not giving me medication and this stuff. There's not going to be any medication, they told me. So why do I have any reason to talk to them anymore? I don't. I already had Valium by the time they fucking cops showed up. I don't need you motherfuckers. I'm going to get whatever the fuck I want. All right? Fuck you, you motherfuckers. You people abuse the police. You call the police. You have all this fucking shit. So the ten fucking asshole cops that fucking show up. They fucking should all be fucking sued. I should have fucking sued the police department. Well, you know what? There's no law. There's no lawyers. There's no courts. It's all bullshit you see on fucking TV, assholes. So the cops don't really want to do anything but scumbag Jew, scumbag Eric Putterman, who's a Jew piece of shit. Fucking, he makes a big deal. Meanwhile, he sends me a letter that I could still go back there for treatment if I needed. 
Because I go to the fucking Wacko Ward and they tell me that like there's one person from Facebook. Every first they lie to me. They said that I could keep the I have like these this pens type device on my neck that's supposed to help with pain and healing. They said I could still wear that. So basically they take me away in the same vehicle as Freddie Gray, where the thing's fucking shaking and stuff, so I can see how he gets hurt. All this bullshit. The cops know there's nothing up. They know it's bullshit. You know what I mean? So the cops look like the scumbags. That's why people fucking shoot and kill cops because of people like Eric Putman that fucking use them when they know they're full of shit. There was nothing. I don't even own a gun, so there was never any mention of shooting anybody. And even my post was never deleted. It was left on Facebook a one-star review for them. So they came after me for a one-star fucking review. All right? So fuck this country and fuck everyone in it. You know, you pieces of shit. So I'm in like the, the whack award thing and it's like Thursday because they have like football and I had to do the, my football cards Friday because I was doing the panic things. And then they can like hold me for three days. They were ready to let me go and there's like this one like Indian, a Muslim bitch she, who fucking didn't let me go sooner because she's like a piece of shit. I don't know what her story was. And then when I was on the phone with my sister, she starts acting like a lunatic, yelling and screaming like a fucking wacko. And they're telling me, you know, if your sister ever comes here, she ain't coming back. But it's funny, when they were talking to me, I figured, you know what, maybe I am saying insane because whenever I complain about stuff they point to my head like I was crazy meanwhile I had a serious concussion and I had a neck injury and I needed surgery so whenever I mentioned pain or anything before I even had the surgery so I'm like you know what maybe I'm a schizo maybe I'm wacko whatever so I'm not even trying to be sane and these people they hang on every single word I say all these doctors and I'm waiting for them to interrupt me and be like you're batshit crazy you can see some of the stuff like on the early stuff, my uh, my fucking Goku inspiration story, I talk about the stuff a little bit, and then on uh, my uh, my fucking Smokey, my Smokey Days Hayes stand up set one, unhinged raw debut, lit primal sense, black comedy parody. I talk about one of them in the Wacker Woods. So it's like this one kid like threatens to attack me. While like I can't do anything, they even took my device. So it's like I'm in friggin' pain. I can barely move. I'm less than a month out of a C5, C7 neck fusion where I have a fucking plastic spaces in my neck with metal teeth, titanium teeth. So one kid came in, he reminded me of this dude, Mike Wilder or something, and he like, they gave him ravioli, and he's told me he's been there like 15 times, and this and that, and he's threatening to like, assault me. There are two or three people that got taken out, that started assaulting people, like going nuts. So I'm in like this crazy wacko wood, like, where people are just like, you know, drug addicts, all sorts of stuff. So it's like, he threatened me a few times, and I told him how his tattoos looked nice, so we kind of talked to some white degree. It wasn't like I could do anything at that point. Any other time, I could have fucking easily taken it, but, you know, less than a month out of surgery or whatever. This is like October, I think. Then there was this, like, real obese girl, and she was telling me she's there because they changed her the medication, so she decided to be there on her own and stuff like that, which to me I think is really crazy, and she was telling me they could hold me for three days. So I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to try not to shit for three days. This sucks. There's one black guy kept making fun of me because I kept peeing, and he's like, I told him I had prostatitis. I'm like, yeah, dummy. If you have prostatitis, you can't pee, you feel like you pee, you have the urge to pee. It's not, you know, it's like a, plus I just drank a shake before the cops came up. I came out there and I thought it was like an activity check because I wasn't answering the phone. They wanted to see if I'm all right, but no, they want to have this old bullshit. You know what? If I was a threat to them, they would be dead. If I had a bomb that could fucking blow up the hospital complex, that I saw them, I saw them show up. It's not like these cops are fucking sneaking. So they would have been dead. They all would have been dead. Why? Because they didn't want to give me the Valium that I had anyway by the time the fucking cops came after me to fucking hassle me. You want to make up bullshit stories? Because my post was never deleted. I edited it so it looked a little better. But it was never deleted. There was never anything about it. I said, basically, if you're not going to give people medication, at some point they're going to start turning on the doctors. They're not going to be fucking living in pain or something like that. Or It was actually a good post except for one or two parts, even the guy at the Wacker Ward said. So I realized I was the only sane person in the world. After a while, I got to go after a few more hours because of my stupid asshole sister that someone let me use their cell phone to call her, and then I'm like out there in the fucking cold waiting for her to pick me up, and then I go home and shit like that. So, yeah, you know what? The 10 cops showed up to my house, and I survived. They were going there to kill me. They wanted me to get killed. They were hoping that somehow they'd find a reason to kill me. But you know what? I'm still alive, motherfuckers. You know what? If there was any justice in this world, I'd be fucking suing you people for six or seven figures. So Eric Putterman, the doctor, who's a piece of shit. Zittner's another piece of shit. He was trying to say that I'm like a scam artist. I had accidents before. Meanwhile, I just wanted an MRI to see what was wrong with me. Do I have a neck injury? Do I have a back injury? And, you know, because I'm like, if this is how I'm going to have to live, you know, uh, there's got to be something wrong. So I just wanted an MRI. And we had to go through all this bullshit. So thanks and take care.